Hey guys, it's Debbie with Driftwood and Shine. Coming on tonight and we're going to take the Dollar Tree trash can. They call it a basket. Dollar Tree basket. And we're going to make us a teacup. Complete with a decorated saucer, decorated teacup. I just made this one so you can see. But all I did was take and paint a plate, but I found one. You have to get a smaller size plate so that it'll look right when the, like a saucer. Okay. And we're going to be using this packet of, ri of napkins. I just got that yesterday. And I found another pack. These are still the metal, metal garden stakes. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Oh. Hurry up before she tries to call back, please. That was Sonny trying to call, so I told the boys to go call her on their daddy's phone. And anyhow, this is a two-pack of metal garden steak. It's a two-pack. And they're smaller. Hey, Peggy. Hey, Teresa. Okay, and what we're going to do, same thing. We're going to take, let me cut this off. We're going to just take around the edges, down at the very bottom, and I'm squeezing it with my middle finger, because you can figure out what's your best way. That part where it gathers at doesn't want to squeeze sometimes, where they put them together. So sometimes you have to take a little bit more persuasion right there. That part is pretty hard. Okay, I'm going to go around. I'm going to get it looking about like I want it. Then I take, I'm going to turn you down just a little bit now. I take and sit it down, and then I literally push down toward the front, toward the front, toward the front. Then take your finger, your thumbs, Oh, that part right there, they put a big old piece of metal in this one. Most of them don't have that big a piece. I have to try to bend it down with my needle nose pliers. Gosh. Anyhow, and then go ahead and bend it in. This is so simple. I got started with these trash cans, and I just want to think of all kinds of things. I've already got another idea in my head. Then you take around the top. And take your, I'm pushing, I don't know if you can see, I'm pushing in with my fingers. Because, you know, a teacup, the old-fashioned kind of teacup, like you can still buy them, but they have a, they kind of come up and then go out at the top. So we're making ours go out. Then take your hand inside and make sure, you know, that it's, formed the way you want it. Then I might have to go in a little bit more. Just be careful how you bend it because you know these things, but look, that quick to shape it. That quick. Now before I put the handle on, well, no, I'll go ahead and put the handle on and show you. All, all I'm doing is taking up here at the top and putting the handle in one of the holes. But then I'm, and it, you know, I always go right where it's joined. And you can see right there how thick that is. It's where it's joined. And then come in here, take your hot glue, and hot glue it. Now, I did, um put a zip tie but I hot glued so that it could hold it in place and then that way I knew my zip tie would you know fit where it should and you just hot glue it and hot glue it from the inside too ok 
Okay, I might go ahead and zip tie that part down there because it's it kind of wants to move. I've just got the little zip tie. I'm gonna take and put my piece here. I don't know if y'all can see it. Let me turn it down a little bit more. Right inside. And I'm gonna just pull it out. And of course I just you know, got it backwards. Make sure you don't get it backwards like I just did. Oh, let's try that one again because that was backwards. I'm just putting it right where I need it. Right here where the zip tie's at. I mean where the hot glue's at. And it's backwards again, guys. I can't seem to get it right tonight. Now, there you go. Got a little bit of hot glue on there, so see if I can get it to tighten with this. Go ahead and tighten that one on so that it'll hold it. Okay. Cut that off and then turn your zip tie to the side so your knot is to the side and not sticking out. And I really don't think I need to put one at the top because it's stuck in a hole. I stuck it right in a hole and then I hot glued it. So I think it's there to stay. Okay, that's the beginning. Now, I went ahead and cut out, this is a part of the napkin. I went ahead and cut it out so that it'd make this thing quicker. And I glued, I mean, uh, Mod Podge it on a piece of yellow um, construction paper. And the reason I did that was to make it stiffer and plus make it where it would show up against this mesh, you know, because the mesh sometimes, if it was just all white, it would kind of not show up and blend in very well. But this is how, you know, all the china teacups have decoration on them. So that's about where I want it. So I'm going to hot glue on the back. And I'm not putting like a lot, a lot, a lot of hot glue because I don't want it just going crazy on the other side but I want enough that's going to hold it until I can get a piece on the back. I, I went ahead and cut me out a piece out of white print paper, printer paper. Okay, let me get it stuck on before it all completely dries. I may let it dry too much. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll just turn it up like this and hot glue it. Then all I gotta do is lay it down instead of try to move it. I got two little pieces there. I'll work with them when I get the piece on the back. Our little piece of china teacup's going to be all decorated. There, that works much better to not try to do it all at one time. down a little bit get these edges glued down good I want them to stay down <coughs> see if I can get my two little pieces there they don't really have a whole lot to hold on to so that's why I got the back piece. There, that, 
gave them a little bit to hold on to there. Okay, now I'm going to turn in like this, and I've got a piece that I cut out of white paper. Got to make sure that I have the right, yeah, it goes like that. Now I'm going to do the same thing, I'm going to hot glue it. plug in my other glue gun, my bigger glue gun, the one that's a pain. Sorry, I should have, I should have looked and seen that I didn't have any. I can use this bigger one. Let me plug it in right quick so it can be getting hot, and we'll go ahead and do the plate. Okay, let that get hot, and then we'll go ahead and do the plate. Okay, I'm going to put this to the side for a minute, and I went ahead and cut out a piece for the plate. And all we're going to do is Mod Podge it on. I think I'm going to Mod Podge the plate, just a bigger area, because I really need to Mod Podge the whole plate anyway, because I spray painted it, and you know spray paint on um, a plate's probably not going to stick very well, so I'm going to just go ahead and Mod Podge this pretty good, get a pretty good bit, of, bit on it. You don't want it real thin, thin. You don't want it thick, thick, but you don't want it thin, thin because then it's going to um, more than likely rip your ribbon. Okay. Just pressing it down into the glue before I Mod Podge over it. Okay. And when when you Mod Podge over a napkin, make sure your your um, paintbrush has a good amount of glue on it because if not, it'll it could rip the the napkin, and we don't want that to happen. And y'all can decorate y'all's as any way you want to. Make sure you sprinkle the shine. And like I said, you can decorate any way you want to. I just saw these and I thought, oh, that's pretty, you know, because a lot of, and that's got a little bit of, we're not going to worry with it. We're just going to let it wad up. Sorry. It's got, um, had pretty, like, birds and flowers and, and whatever. Okay, so we've got that done. Let's see if our glue is hot enough yet. Not quite. It's getting there. It's coming. It's starting to come. Okay, so let me set that over to the side. And we're fixing to hot glue our piece of white onto the back of the yellow to make sure it all holds in place. I'm going to just go in and put some hot glue on the edges. Okay. Go ahead and get it 
started. pick up. If this wasn't a basket, we wouldn't have to do this. But with it being a basket, we want to make sure that we're giving it something from the back side that's also going to hold it. When you put whatever you want to put inside it, it's not going to matter that this is in it because it'll be covered up. But I'm just putting glue along the edges. Just so it'll hold it. And where it doesn't exactly be the same. I can always go in with little needle nose um, scissors and cut it off because it, it doesn't quite match up, but that's okay. We can go in with needle nose pliers and cut it off. And then you could also, if you had them, I didn't have any. I wish I had. I wish I had me some either little yellow beads or pink beads that you can put you know along here there's our piece of china that will sit on our plate when it's dry just like this and there we have a piece of china a china cup and that's it that's how quick 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 what kind of paper wallpaper? Um, this, <clears throat> the flowers now, are napkin, and they come from the Dollar Tree. And I put it on a piece of yellow construction paper. You know what I mean? Like, um, you know, like they use in school, kids do, because I knew it would be pliable and bendable, but yet it would give it a little color because I didn't want it all white on this basket. You know, with it being like this, it wouldn't show as pretty. And then the white, the, this in the back is just a liter, literally a piece of printer paper. So, and then that's the napkin that I just mod podged on, decoupaged on. So see it has the birds, just like this has the bird. See, I put our bird right here in the middle, and this one has two birds, one on each end. Same flowers. Now this one does look yellow. You could actually back that with yellow if you wanted to. I didn't really want to. So, and I can't really set this down and leave it, but that's it. Look at there. There's our piece of china, our cup and saucer. How about that? Yay! Okay, um, that's it for tonight, or not for tonight, because I'm going to come back on around probably 9, 30, 10 o'clock again tonight. I have um, the third day of Christmas to do. And I can go ahead and show you what it's going to involve. Whoops. Dollar Tree candy canes. Some pretties. I'll just call it pretties. Pretties. And some ribbon. I'm going to have red and black and white ribbon. And red ribbon. Got some fancy crazy red ribbon and red ribbon. And we're gonna be doing a pretty Christmas for our third day of Christmas in July. 
This is our third day, so at around 9, 30, 10 o'clock, I'll be doing our Christmas in July piece. Yay. What did you, for the handle, oh, I done threw that little piece of stuff away. No, I didn't. Here it is. I found in the section where the flowers are and where you get the wreath forms, it's metal garden hooks, and you get them in a two-pack. They're shaped in the same shape as I did on the coffee cup, but they're smaller. So, therefore, it, you know, fit from the bottom to the top, like a little teacup. And I only did it on one side because normally these are for display or even for a planter. You're still only going to see one side of it. So, And this will dry. It will probably dry in about another 20 minutes. So when I go on tonight, I can show you that finished product with it actually sitting on it. And, and we'll be using the Easy Bow Maker tonight to show you all that, show you all how to use an Easy Bow Maker. Making bows with an Easy Bow Maker really is easy, guys. So those of you that have trouble with bows, make sure you come back tonight and we'll do a, a bow on the Easy Bow Maker. But that's it for right now. Um, Sonny's on the way with our food. I'm hungry, so that's a good thing. I'm going to that hot glue gun since it goes crazy. <laughs> but um, that's it for now. Thank you for joining me. Make sure you sprinkle the shine. Let me know down below that you sprinkled because then your name will be added to the pot. And I'm on, this is the cup we made last night, guys. I forgot to show you that, too. Look how pretty. Oh, my God. I think that's about the prettiest alcohol ink cup I've ever made. I, honestly, it is absolutely stunning. I'm going to ask Sunny if she cares if we give it away as our gift. And, Melissa, I do have yours. Um, it gets its final coat of epoxy probably in the morning early. I'll do it in the morning early. So then it'll see. That'll be Saturday, Sunday, Monday. I can send it out on Tuesday. But this one can be, um, you know, have somebody's name put on it if Sunny says it's okay. We'll just ask her, though. I don't want to, you know. Thank you so much for the stars, Lori. You are too sweet. But um, that's it, guys, for tonight. And, well, not for tonight. I keep saying for tonight. For this live, that's it. But come back and we'll do the Christmas thing. I'll show you all how to use an easy bow maker. This is the best bow maker in the world. I love them. And that's it. See you later. Bye.